Amen. Amen. Let's get in this word. This morning I will be coming from the book of Psalms. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. And I'll be reading verses 1 through 6, and then I'll go to verse 10 through 14. Okay? Psalms 51. Verses 1 through 6, and then I'll go to verse 10 through 14. Amen. And scripture reads, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil thing in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part. You will make me to know wisdom. Verse 10 says, Create in me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Amen. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you once again for everything that has taken place on today. Father God, we thank you for your people. Amen. Father God, and as always, Father God, we just... We just pray that you would just prep our minds and our hearts, Father God, to, to receive your word, Father God. Allow our hearts to be hearts of flesh, fertile soil right now, Father God, that your word may take root, Father God, and, 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 and bring forth and bud right now, Father God, as it was designed to do, Father God, to, be, to help us produce life, Father God, in our everyday activities, oh Lord God. And we just say thank you for this word. Thank you for your people right now, Father God, and we pray, Lord, that, that, that I will move out of the way for right now, Father God, <coughs> that you will use me, Father God, to reach your people. And Father God, we just, we just speak victory right now, Father God, and we believe that we're going to learn some things today, Father yes, God, that's going to make us better Christians, oh Lord God, for you right now, Father God, because that's what it's all about, to become yes, better, to be more like your son, Jesus Christ. And we thank you in his name we do pray. Amen. 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 So this morning, I'm going to title this, How to Reconnect with God. Amen. How to Reconnect with God. Okay. And, and I say that because oftentimes, y'all, as, 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 as believers, we can allow so many things to come in our lives to, to, to disconnect us from Christ, okay? There's, there's so much that, that goes on in this world. We can be so distracted, all right, from the things of this world, okay, to we allow it to overtake us, okay? So we allow it to overtake us, and eventually, if you stay in it for so long, it begins to control you. Do you feel what I'm saying? All right, and, and, and like I said, it's, it's, it's so many things, y'all, and, and, and a lot of times we don't even realize, we don't even realize that we're pursuing, mm -hmm. all right, so many worldly things, okay? And like I say, the drift away from God is a slow fade. Yeah. So sometimes you don't realize that you're drifting from God. God never moves. Mm -hmm. Let me say that, all right? God never moves, but, 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 but a lot of times, y'all, we began to chase things that, that, that can't sustain us. 
All right? And like we was talking about that this morning, I don't know what it's going to take for us to wake up, okay, and realize that we're running in the wrong direction, okay? And then when you hit that wall, when you hit that trial, when you hit that tribulation, and you look up, and you, you look, you're so far from shore that you don't know where you are, okay? That, but, 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 but it's because you've chased all these worldly things for so long, you're so disconnected from God that you don't even feel his presence anymore, okay? You don't, you, don't, you don't feel his presence anymore. And like I said last week, there's nothing wrong with having dreams, okay? There's nothing wrong with having goals, all right? But, but, scripture, but scripture tells me that seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto you, okay? God, listen, God is not opposed to you being successful. God is not opposed to you having things. Okay, but the, the problem lies is when you seek after the things that you don't have God, then you're in a world of trouble. All right. All okay? Right. You're seeking after the things that don't have God, y'all. You you you're really you're really in trouble. That's why he said this. I can do all things through God. Christ who strengthens me. Okay? That but, but, and, and that's the thing. When you become a child of God, there are guidelines. Okay? There are guidelines that God, that the Bible has set up. Okay, not to keep you away from having fun, okay, not to keep you away from enjoying life, but it's to protect you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? That, that's why they build a fence around sheep, mm -hmm. to protect them, because right. God knows that they're wolves, all right, yeah. outside, of, outside of that fence. Yeah. Okay, can I get an amen? amen? All right, because listen, and a lot of times as sheep, we don't understand mm -hmm. sometimes the dangers. Outside of that fence. Okay? We don't understand the danger. But Christ does. He does. And then and then and then what trips me out sometimes, we can see other people fall from some of the same things. Okay? We can watch people get addicted to all kind, to drugs and alcohol. We can see marriages destroyed. We can see we can see people lose their job over them over the foolish things. Okay? And like we were saying this morning, don't think yourself as too highly, okay, to where that can't happen to you. Amen. Step outside of God's fold and see how much strength you have. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Amen. But we look at other people and say, you know what? That'll never happen to me. Mm -hmm. All right. that'll, that'll, what's wrong with them people? Why do they do this? That's what we say, okay? But, but, but if you're not careful, but if you're not careful, that comment can be fueled from pride. Yes. Okay? It can be fueled from pride. Looking at other people's situations and saying that'll happen, that'll never happen to me. Okay? But but step outside of God's will. And then let's see what can really happen to you. Do you feel what I'm saying? But 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 like I was saying, y'all, we can get so caught up in things. Okay, that we can we can start to drift away from God and not even know it. Okay, and it doesn't always have to be unrighteous things. Okay, it doesn't always have to. Be, if 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 Satan can't make you, he know he can't take your salvation. If he can't make you bad, Satan tries to make you busy. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? He tried to put a lot on your plate. Okay, to where you're so consumed with all these different things that go, that's going on that you don't even make time for God. Do, do, you, do you feel what I'm saying? You're too busy to spend time with God. You're too busy to hear from God, okay, because you're so distracted and all doing right. all these different things. Yes. Okay, and it could be good things, but ask yourself the question, is it the right thing? All right, all right, all right. All right. It could be good things, but is it, is it what God has told you to do? All right? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Did he tell you to buy that house? Did you get the confirmation? That, that's, that's what I'm saying. Did you get that feeling? Did, 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 listen, did you count the cost like the Bible tells us to? Okay? Your decisions have to be lined up with the Bible. What, before I make this decision, let me see what God has to say about this. So I, so I can make sure I'm not walking outside of his will. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. But 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 because of the carnal eye, you looking at that house or you looking at that car and it's shiny and it looks good, yeah. but you know your bank account don't line up with this. Right? Do you feel what I'm saying? Right now, 
I'm not saying I'm not saying that they ain't gonna get there one day, but I'm talking about right now. Do you feel what I'm saying? Listen, because God never wants to put you in a place. Hmm. All right. Where you going? God never wants you to put you in a place where you're gonna have to struggle like that. Do you feel what I'm saying? We blame it on God a lot of times, but you've done that on your own. That, that, and, and, that, and that's why I said, listen, even disobedience, okay, is a sin. You might think you're doing the right thing. Now, this, the, the, the act might not be a sin, but did God tell you to turn left? He told you to turn right. That's good. Do, do, do you feel what I'm saying? So even, even, even refusing to trust and obey God, okay, can, 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 can form a disconnect in the relationship between you and God. Okay? Because you're doing your own thing. Let, let me say this before I move on. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Okay? That's what scripture says. I'm not talking about whether or not he still loves you. Okay? Because the Bible says there's nothing under the sun that can separate you from the love of God. But you can be disconnected. Amen? All right? It can, your, your relationship between, between each other can be damaged. Do you feel what I'm saying? And a lot of times, too, y'all, we, we allow the weight of the world to come in, okay? We worry about things. We fear different things, okay? We have, we have, we have all these anxieties that's, that's going on, and, and, and we put too much emphasis on the smallest of problems, okay? We put our attention. I'm talking about you thinking about it 24-7 now. You're thinking about that small issue 24-7, and you had and, and listen, and you hadn't talked to God not one time. That brings a disconnect. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're right about it. You don't feel the power when you focus on the problem. You, there's, no, there's no way you can feel the listen, there's no way you can feel the power of God and the strength of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the encouragement when you're steadily focused on the problem. Somehow, some way, you're going to have to shift what you're thinking on. Do you understand? You're going to have to shift that thing and say, you know what? I can't control it anyway. There's nothing I can do about this anyway, so let me focus my mind on the one who can fix this. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's when you begin to walk on water. Do you understand? It's amazing the things that we can do when we stay connected yeah. to Jesus Christ. Amen. It's amazing. Yeah. I look at my life sometimes and I say, man, I, I couldn't have done that in my own strength. Mm -hmm. There's no way I could have accomplished it. My life was supposed to have crumbled under that situation right there. Mm -hmm. But God sustained me. Thank you, Lord. Do you feel what I'm saying? God, God, God sustained me. But, but like I said, Walking outside of the will of God, y'all, it will put a wedge between you and him, okay? And I'm going to say this. Nothing, nothing puts a wedge between you and God like sin, okay? Out of all the things we just talked about, but there's, there's nothing that puts the wedge between you and the Savior like sin, okay? But that's, that's the ultimate relationship killer. All right, of feeling God's presence, knowing that he's there, feeling his strength, feeling his Holy Spirit guide us, okay? When you start walking in sin, y'all, listen, it, it, it knows, all right? It does. It, it, listen, you get to the point to where you're desensitized to sin, okay? And you, you, you want to that more, all right? And you, and you don't feed, and, and, and I'm going to tell you what sin does. Sin grieves the Holy Spirit. Wow. Do y'all hear me? Yeah. When, you, when you give your life to Christ, the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. If y'all agree, say amen. amen. Okay? The Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you. That's right. Wherever you go, the Holy Spirit goes. He don't leave. Whatever, whatever you do, the Holy Spirit is right there. That's the Spirit of God, y'all. Do you feel what I'm saying? So when you commit that act, do, do you see what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit is right there breathing. He's grieving. You're grieving him. And you're weakening his ability 
to help you. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, 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 and I don't, I don't know why we think just because you, 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 you hide these things from people. Okay, you can never hide these things from God. All right. You can't hide it from God. And and and, and that's the thing. That listen, that ought to make you want to do better. Listen, you know what? I don't need to go in there. I don't need to go over there because the, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Do you feel what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit is with me, so we don't need to do that. Mm -mm. We, we don't need. We don't need to go. We don't need. To, we don't need to do that. And this, and this is the thing. This is the thing. With the Holy Spirit, y'all. With the Holy Spirit, you have to feed Him the Word of God. Okay. You have to listen. You have to walk in the things in the things that God has planned out for you in order to be strong to not go in them places. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not the fact that He can't help you because He is our helper. But you have to strengthen the Holy Spirit, okay? You have to, listen, it, it quickens you, okay? The, 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 the Bible said, listen, the word of God is like a, like a two-edged sword. It's, it's alive, it's quick. Do you feel what I'm saying? So when, you, when, when the word of God is being downloaded into the Holy Spirit, that's when you can walk in power, okay? Ask you, you, you never ask yourself, why I keep tripping up over the same sin? Why I keep running over here? What is it? What is it about this? What is, what is it about this to keep attracting me? Knowing that you, I'm talking about saved people. Do you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Because listen, you don't feed the Holy Spirit to get to the point to where you're strong enough. Do you feel what I'm saying? You you cannot neglect the Holy Spirit. Okay. But 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 you listen. But this is the thing. Like I said earlier. It starts with a single sin, okay? In the beginning, you may feel that guilt. You may feel, listen, you may feel ashamed All right. in the beginning. All right. All right? You may, even though it felt good to the flesh, as, as, as believers, it's, listen, you're supposed to feel guilty when you do something That's wrong. Right. That's right. All right? That's the conviction on the inside of you. Yes, Lord. Okay? But 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 if you don't take listen, but but God gives us the freedom of choice. And if you don't listen, if you don't use your freedom of choice to say, you know what, I'm not gonna do that again, he leaves it up to you. And then if you go back to that sin again, listen, you just dug the Holy Spirit. Yeah. All right? And you're dulling your conscience. Okay? L listen, the Bible talks about how the false teachers walk in hypocrisy. Because they got to a place, y'all. To where they were commit, they were lying so much, they were lying so much, and they was committing so many sin that their conscience got seared like a hot iron. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they kept committing the sin, it got to a place where they didn't have a conscience no more. Y'all, that's a scary place to get. Well, you don't even you don't even feel bad for doing wrong. My Lord, something's wrong with that picture. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? So, so, and, and, and this, this, will, this will trip me out. They don't have a remorse, okay? You, they don't have a remorse for the wrong things that they're, that they're doing. But even, listen, even when you go to them people and try to tell the truth to them, their response is like, you're judging me. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you feel what I'm saying? Like, you, like, no, you're doing wrong in this moment. I'm just trying to help you with the truth. I thought you knew better. Do you feel what I'm saying? I thought you knew better, but them are the same people that say, I'm, I'm, you're judging me. You're judging me. No, nobody's judging you. You just like living in sin. Just say that. I like this. I don't want to stop. Do you feel what I'm saying? Just say that. Listen, there were people, listen, in the, even, even in the church, the, the early church, even before Christ, before Christ came to this earth, y'all, the, this, this is what the Bible says over in John. Even though, even though they were with us, they were not of us. Okay? Even though they walked the walk, they talked the talk, they looked the part. Do you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they went astray. Mm -hmm. Okay? And, 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 and first John said that proved that they wasn't even with us anyway. They wasn't of us. 
Okay? The, even, 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 in, even in the times of Moses, mm -hmm. God said, listen, the children of Israel, all be, just because they were Jews, that don't mean they were followers of God. Mm -hmm. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because they was a Jew, they were unbelieving Jews too. Just, just because they were Jews, that don't, that don't mean, listen, this is what God said. I swore in my wrath that they would not enter my rest because their heart was continually going astray. It was continually going astray. Okay? Though you hear this word all the time, over and over and over again. I'm going I'm to say this. If you're a real genuine follower of Christ, it's going to prick you oh, at yeah. some point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? But these people, they listen, they thought, they thought just because they had the Jewish name that they was going to make it in. Do you feel what I'm saying? Just coming to church ain't going to guarantee you making it in. Do you feel what I'm saying? I don't care how long you've been in church. That don't mean you've been converted. That does not mean that you've been converted. And, 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 and scripture says they, their hearts was, 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 was continually going astray from me and they have not known my ways. Okay? And, and, and that's, that's what it boils down to, y'all. It boils down to a heart issue. Mm -hmm. What's really in your heart is what's going to come out. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you try to fix it up. Mm -hmm. What's really on the inside of your heart, that's really the life you're going to live. Mm -hmm. You can't stop what's on the inside of your heart. The Bible even tells us that. Mm -hmm. The thing that's on the inside of your heart. L listen, you, 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 you know the song they made, It's in my heart to serve the Lord. Y'all remember that? It's in my heart. Listen, it's got to be down on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's got to be a, it's got to be become a part of your belief system. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Now, now those, now those who are genuine followers of Christ, okay? Those who are real about this walk, we don't always get it right. Okay? We don't always get it right. But when you begin to drift off from Christ. And you and you're going listen and you're going through your period of disconnect. There, listen. There's going to be something that that, that that says to you, I'm missing something. Uh -huh. That's right. I'm telling you, God ain't going to let you just go off. You're going to feel that void. If you're a real genuine follower follower of Jesus Christ, you're going to say to yourself, I'm lacking something. There's something missing. There's something going on. I don't care if everything else is going right. If, you don't, if you're not connected with Jesus Christ, you're not going to have no peace in your heart. That's it. Anybody in the house? Oh, yeah. If, if, you, if, if, you, if, you, if you don't have, listen, you can have all the money. You can, everything in, in your home can be going well. You can, listen, your job can be going well. But if you have drifted away from Christ, there's going to be something on the inside of you that says, you know what? Ah, something is missing. Something is really missing because I don't have no peace. I, don't, I still don't have no joy. I got all this stuff going on, but I'm still anxious about something. I can't be still. I can't be satisfied. I got all this. Everything is working. But, but listen, and that, like I said, especially when you're living in sin. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're living in sin. The key, the key verse, the key verse in, in 51 that stood out to me was talking about restore to me the joy of your salvation. And we're going to get to that. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Okay? When you have drifted away from Christ, y'all, you can't walk in joy. I'm not talking about happiness. Okay? I'm talking about a joy that's not circumstantial. Mm -hmm. and, you, and, and, and when you're talking about the joy of Christ, you can walk in that even though if you don't have a lot. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Think back to when you first gave your life to Christ, how on fire you was for God. Do you feel what I'm saying? There's some people, that, like, that's what I'm saying, you was on fire for God. You wanted to tell, you wanted to tell everybody, you wanted to, listen, you wanted everybody to see, I'm a brand new creature. I'm a new man, I'm a new woman. No, I don't get out like that no more. Do you feel what I'm saying? Could keep you out of church. Couldn't keep you out of church. But somewhere along the way, you start to grow cold. Do you feel what I'm saying? Somewhere along the way, you, you listen, you, 
you drift it off, and I guarantee it, you can feel it right now. If you're in that place, you know it. I'm talking about real believers. You, 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 you really know it. You really know this. So, 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 what do we do, okay, when we're in this place, okay? Like, like, like the title says, how do we, how do we reconnect, okay? How do we get to that place? And that's where you gotta ask yourself, okay? What do I listen? What? How can I get back to that to that right standing with God? And I thank God because He has given us prime examples, okay, throughout the Bible for every life, for every situation in life. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? In, 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 Psalms, in Psalms 51, okay, in Psalms 51, it's actually, y'all, a prayer, a prayer of confession and repentance from David, okay? Psalms 51, it's a, it's a prayer pleading with God, pleading with God, to not leave me, okay? Don't leave me in my guilt. Don't leave me in my sorrow. Don't leave me in my shame. Don't leave me in this heartache, all right? It's a real plea from God, okay? The title said, how do we reconnect to God, right? How do we reconnect to God? This right here is going to show us how to reconnect to God. So David wrote this prayer. David wrote this prayer after he committed adultery with Bathsheba, okay? And not only did he commit adultery with Bathsheba, mm -hmm. when he found out she was pregnant, he had her husband killed, okay? He had her husband killed, all right? He, he made plans to put him in a situation in the army so he can die, okay? And, that, and all of that took place, and it, and, it, and, it actually, and it actually happened. So she went on to have the child, Right, or, or with child, but but God sent a man named Nathan. Okay, He sent a man named Nathan. Okay, and he told he told David a story. He told David a story. He said, David, listen, that was a that was a, that was a that was it, it was basically a parable. There was a situation where this 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 king had plenty of sheep. He said, this, this, this king had plenty of oxen, he had plenty of sheep, okay, and he refused to lend it or give it out to anybody. But on the other hand, this poor man had a little small baby lamb, just, and he said he only had one. He only had one. Uh, they called it a ewe lamb, okay? He only had one. And, and, and the Bible said that this, this poor man, he loved this, this, this ewe lamb. He loved it. He let it sleep with his kids. He fed them. He grew it up as, one, as a part of the family member. Okay? And, 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 and when the time came, when somebody came to the king to ask the king, listen, I'm in need. Okay? And instead of the king giving, giving one of his sheep, he took the poor man's sheep. He didn't have but one. He took the poor man's sheep. And, 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 and Nathan, Nathan asked David, what do you think ought to be done to this king? And David replied, tell me who it is, and we're going to kill him. And Nathan said, you know what? That man is you. Wow. That man is you. When he thought that he had got away with his sin, yes. okay, that's what I'm saying. What's done in the dark is going to come to the light. Okay? It's going to come to the light. Somebody going to find out. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you when you think you've gotten away with it, and listen, even if we don't find out, God knows. Do you understand what I'm saying? And God has a way with, of dealing with you, okay, better than any human being can deal with you. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? But, but in that moment, in that moment, David said, you know what? His countenance dropped. He said, that's you. All right? So what are you saying? You should die? But God spared his life. God spared David's life, okay? And he went on to say, I sinned against God, okay? And scripture tells us that Bathsheba and David had the child, but they lost the child, okay? But during the, during the time of the child's sickness, David, listen, David went through mourning. He was crying. He was yeah. fasting. He was praying. But when the, when, the, when the baby died, 
when the baby died, he got up and he washed his face. Okay, but he was still, he was still hurting. Okay, and David got to a place where he realized, listen, little by little, he drifted away from God. Okay, little by little. All right. And it started with a single act of sin. Oh, yeah. Okay, a single act of his lust. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you feel what I'm saying? A, a single act. And it started a ripple effect. Okay? It started a ripple effect. One single act, when he should have been in battle, he took another man's wife. Okay? Be careful what you gauge your eyes upon. Do you feel what I'm saying? We talked about it this morning. I wish I was in Bible. I wish I was in Sunday school this morning. Amen? Be careful what you gauge your eyes upon. I'm not talking about, look, uh, listen, I'm not talking about what you just saw. I'm talking about you're, you're gazing yes. your eyes upon. Yes. That's what yes. happened to Eve. Yep. Amen. God had given her, given them everything in the garden, all the trees. He said, you can eat of every tree in this garden. All the trees were good, but don't eat of this one. But, but something in her flesh said, I looked upon this tree and I, and I, and I thought to myself, this was good. I thought to myself, this fruit is good. Amen? Amen. Why do we think, <laughs> why do we think, <laughs> I got to word my, my words right, okay? That it's better on the other side. That the grass is greener on the other side. Amen? That, that listen, that will cost you a world of pain. David had to go through suffering because of that act. And not, on, not, only, not only that, God said, listen, I've given you these wives and concubines, but guess what? I'm going to give them to your sons because of your act. Amen? What you've done in the dark, but I'm going to let you see them in the light. That's what Scripture said on the second Samuel. Amen? That's what he said. What you, you've done yours in the dark, but I'm going to let you watch in the light what's going to happen to you, and you're going to be crushed behind this. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? But David got to a place, y'all. Okay, and he was disconnected from God. David got to a place. And script, listen, scripture said David was a man after God's own heart. Yes. God, regardless of what we do, God still searches the heart. Yes. Okay? Regardless of what we do. Because we all, listen, we all are capable of doing heinous acts. Do you feel what I'm saying? We're no better. All right? We're reading the scripture about David, but we're all capable of acting like David. Do you feel what I'm saying? Play with that sin too long if you want to and see what happens. Play with it. I'm serious. And see and see where it end, see where you end up. All right? But 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 where's your heart? Do you want to be reconnected to God? Do you want to be reconnected to God? Psalms 51 starts off by saying this, Lord, have mercy upon me, O God. Okay? According to your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Okay? The first thing we got to do is acknowledge the fact that we sin and ask God to have mercy on me, Lord. I don't want to be like this no more. Cleanse me. Okay? It took that, y'all. And, and I know, listen, David, it took that for David to pen a lot of these songs. Okay? It took that. That's just like, that's just like the trials and, and tribulations that we go through, y'all. It took that to, for you to get to the place where you are now. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Those, those times where you really messed up in life, okay, it took that God allowed that to happen so you can learn from your mistakes, so you can see. Amen? But, but, but Scripture went on to say, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. I thank God for this, for this right here. Because David, he didn't blame nobody else mm -hmm. for what he did. Mm -hmm. Your first step into being reconnected with God, you got to own up to what you've done. Own up to it. Stop blaming everybody else. I get sick and tired of being around people who blame everybody for, what, for how they are. Amen. I don't like being around people like that. 
Everything that come out of their mouth, they blame mom, they blame dad, they blame their sister, they blame their brother. Y'all, 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 sixty years old now. You still blaming your sister and your brother for what happened when y'all was kids for for how you are now. It's funny, but that's the truth. You blame everything. Oh, daddy didn't treat me like this. Oh, mama didn't. You, you know, she didn't do this. Listen, you take accountability for your own action. Maybe that is true, but they're human. Amen. That's right. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's right. Take responsibility for yourself. Yeah. I acknowledge. I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is always before me. My sin is always before me. I remember this thing. I committed that act. And then he went on to say, against you and you only have I sinned. Against you and you only have I sinned. That's a sign of real maturity. Do you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What is he saying? Against you, Lord, nobody else. My, every time I commit a sin, every time I go in, a, in the opposite direction of God, I'm committing that sin right. against right. my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Right. All right? That's the very one who we don't want to disappoint. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel what I'm saying? Even though he knows what we're going to do anyway, but, but that's a sign of a mature Christian to, 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 to be able to say, you know what, Lord? I've sinned against you. Yeah. I've sinned against you. And listen, that's the mindset we need to keep. Okay, if you can leave this place and say, I don't want to let God, I don't want to sin That's against it. God. Do you feel what I'm saying? Take it, up, take it above, I don't want to sin against my spouse. Yeah. Right. Take it above that. Say, I don't want to sin against the people on the job. Take it above that, no, I don't want to sin against God. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? That has a different ring to it. That has a different power and a different meaning to it. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with you. I don't want to sin against my God. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and another, another sign to step to, to, to reconnect it, he said, listen, when you decide to do what you're going to do to me, I already know it's just. Take your punishment like a man. Oh, yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You caused this. We, we get to a place and we say, Lord, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing that? Why? No, you caused this one. So now you're going to have to take this punishment. Take this. That, that, that's exactly. Cut your own switches. Amen? Amen? We had to go pick them too. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Hickory sticks. That's what my grandma used to say. But yes, you listen. you got to take your punishment and stop whining about it. Because you caused it. You, you caused that. All right? Scripture says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. This was, this was six says. You desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts, you will make me to know wisdom. What does that mean? God searches the heart of a man. Yes, he There's some things deep down on the inside of us that we don't even, we don't even see. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? There's some things on the inside of you that you can't even see. David is saying, listen, Lord, search the inner parts of me. I'm talking about that inner man, even the secrets that we try to hold on to, that we don't want nobody to see. Lord, I want you to expose them right now because I don't want to make this mistake again. That's a, that's a sign if you really want to get back reconnected with, with God. Anything that's, listen, anything that I'm trying to hide from you, Lord, put it out in the front. Because I don't want to make this mistake again. Y'all know how we get. We, we ask God to do this. Lord, if you do this, I'll do that. But you still want to hold on to this thing right here. You can have everything, but I want to hold on to this. Do you understand what I'm saying? But David was at a place. David was at a place where he said, Lord, expose everything about me. Search my inner parts. He's talking to God. Y'all listen. That scare people just to even think about it. For anybody to know what's really in your heart, that that's, that's scare you right there. But you ain't doing it for us. You're doing it for yourself. You're doing it so you can grow. Don't worry about what other people got. Listen, don't, don't worry about what other people are saying because they got jacked up stuff in their heart too. They got messed up stuff in their heart too. Yeah, they, they gonna talk about you. When it's, at, it's, when, it, when it's exposed, they're going to talk about you. So what, man? So what? 
God still got the ability to, to raise me back up. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? He's done it for me over and over and over again. And listen, verse 10 said, created me a clean heart now, Lord. Created me a clean heart. I want to reconnect with you. Created me a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit from within me. All right? After you show God, listen, that after you say to yourself, show me my mess. Okay? okay? Remove, listen, create a clean heart in me. What does that mean? Remove all this filth. Remove all this bitterness. Remove all this hate. Okay? Remove all this perversion. The yeah. very thing that got me to that place. Do you feel what I'm saying? Remove this lust. Because yes. it's killing me. It's killing me. Yeah, Are you able to say that? Amen. Amen. Remove it. Do you like it so much that you want to hold on to it? Do you feel what I'm saying? Amen. How many times have you stopped Lord, watching pornography? Lord, this is my last time watching pornography. That's it. That's it. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but yet you pick it back up. You weren't ready to get rid of it anyway. Amen. Created me a clean heart. Amen. I want a heart of purity. Do you feel what I'm saying? Thank you, Lord. Remove all this unforgiveness out of my heart. Thank you, God. Okay? Remove all this hate out of my heart. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Do you understand? That's what he said. Create in me a clean heart. Yeah. And renew a right, a right spirit, a steadfast, a willing spirit. This is what he said. Renew a spirit in me, Lord, that I'm willing to do good. Renew a spirit in me that I actually want to do good. Yeah. That's what he's, that's the prayer, y'all. That's the prayer that we have to, listen, we have to use this as an example. Lord, I want to do good. Yes. I want to do good. I want to be able, listen, I want to be able to have clean fun now. Yes. Amen? Yes. And, in, and a lot of times we think we're going to miss out if, we, if God do clean up our heart. Y'all, it's, 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 listen, it's possible to have clean fun. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't have to party like the world to have fun. You did when you were six years old. You had fun. Well, some of us, some I guess I guess, <laughs> I, I guess I guess some people was acting a nut even when they were six years old. But 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 I'm saying that that listen, it's reverting back to that innocence. Well, you just had a good time. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? That's why he said, creating me a clean heart, okay? Don't cast your presence from me and do not take your Holy Spirit from me, Lord. Listen, David realized that there's no way. Listen, don't push your spirit away from me, Lord. He's begging and he's pleading. I need you close. I need you close. There's no way I can make it without you. That's a sign of a mature Christian. There's no way I can make Listen. I will be devoured by Satan if you leave me, Lord. That's it. I can't do this on my own. That's what David is saying. David is in a bad place right now because he's dealing with guilt. He's dealing with shame. He's dealing with heartache from losing his son. He's, he's watching his kingdom, his, his kids run, run rampant. And he, and he realized this is because of an act I did. Yes. So he's in a bad place, y'all. Oh, my God. Oh my do you feel God. what I'm saying? This ain't just a character in the Bible. This is a real human being. Yes. He's in a bad place where he feels disconnected from his Savior. And he's pleading out, Lord, don't leave me. Don't, don't leave me. Don't take your Holy Spirit from me. David was living in a town where the Holy Spirit didn't always dwell on men. Like, like, like we have the privilege. Okay? And, he, and, and, and he's trying to say, Lord, don't take your power away from me. I can't do this without your Holy Spirit. I can't walk upright without your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the problem we run into. We think we can do, listen, we think we can do these things and do God's will outside of his power. We have to be empowered to do, to do the will of God. Yeah. Don't y'all agree? You can't do that in your own flesh. Amen. There's no way you can walk this walk in your own flesh. Okay? Verse 12 tells us to, he said, restore the joy of your salvation. Yes. Okay? Restore the joy of your salvation. I want to walk in joy again. I'm tired of living in depression. I'm tired of living in a state of mind of agony all the time. Restore this. I'm broken, Lord. It's a, it's a prayer from a deep place, y'all. Yes. 
Those, this, this is the prayer, y'all. Listen, this is the prayer. This is this is a model prayer that we should listen. We should add to our arsenal of prayers. Restore the joy. I remember when I used to have joy for my salvation. Something came in. Now it feels more like a burden to walk in Christianity. Y'all ever feel that way? Something that, that's that's what he that's what he's saying right there. Now it feels like it's a burden. Okay, I'm weighed down. Restore the joy of my salvation, Lord. Okay, and and what I like about what I, what I like about David, there was a reason though that he wanted his joy restored. Okay, it wasn't just for him. Listen, this this is what he said in verse thirteen. In verse thirteen, restore the star, re, re, restore the joy of my salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Why? So I can teach transgressors your ways. And sinners shall be converted to you. There was a purpose he wanted his strength back. There was a purpose he wanted his energy and his motivation back so he can spread the good news. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? So it, 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 it wasn't just so he can feel good and go commit the same sin again, because that's how we do sometimes. And I'm almost finished. Okay? We, we want to feel better. We want the guilt taken away from us, Lord, so I can go commit the same sin again. So I can feel good in the club again. Because with this guilt and all this thing, all these, I can't part it like I want to when I'm, when I'm walking in guilt. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'll say amen to myself because I haven't been there. Lord, take this thing away from me so I can go get out again. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, but in this moment, he wants to be restored so he can share the gospel. Do you feel what I'm saying? He wants to be restored so he can teach other people their trend. Listen, so I can teach transgressors your ways and so they can be converted to you. David understood that only God brings true joy. Okay? If you want to be reconnected with God, y'all, you have to be genuine. Okay? Because he searches the heart. You have to be real. What, what, and what is your motive behind wanting to be reconnected? Do, do you feel what I'm saying? So in all of that, I don't care how far we get off course, okay? I don't care how far we get off course. Even the prodigal son had a light bulb to go off in his head. Mm -hmm. At some point, he said, why am I living this filthy life? That's it. That's it. Why am I living this filthy life? That's it. Even, even, listen, even the servants in my father's house is living better than I am. I'm eating slop from pigs. The light bulb finally went off. But it took effort. He said, I'm going to go to my father's house. Okay? God is waiting on us, y'all, to reconnect. He's waiting on us with open arms. It don't make no difference what you've been through, what you're going through right now. You might be in the worst state of sin right now. But open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and ask God to have mercy on you. Okay? Let him show you your sin. Okay? Be real with God. Be genuine with God. And he's waiting. And, 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 and last point, have your motives right. Okay? Because we, we make broken promises. Y'all know how we do. Oh, yeah. Lord, if you fix this, I'll go to church. Yeah. If you fix, if, 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 Lord, if you get me out of this situation, I promise I'll start going to church. That's if it. you get me off of this floor from throwing up, having a hangover, I'll never drink again. And, and that's, and that's what this, this stuff. And, and what happened? You go right back to it. Do you feel what I'm saying? You can't, you can't fool God. Make sure your motives are right. Amen. And watch what he does. He restored, he restored David. Okay? He restored David and he spared his life. Okay? And he said, listen, because you're a man after my own heart, your lineage will forever reign. Do you feel what I'm saying? They're going to speak your name from, from generations down because even though you messed up, you was a man after my own heart, okay? So I'm going to bless you. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, 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 so at the end of the day, y'all, you got to make sure your heart is right, okay? That's what he's looking at. That's what he's looking at. Are you, re are you real with yourself and are you real with God? He's waiting on us to reconnect with him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 If you don't know Jesus Christ, we open the doors of the church. Amen? Amen.
Amen. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to give your life to Christ. Okay? Don't be like the ones in the wilderness who walk. They walked all those years with God and never converted. Amen? Amen. Stop trying to fool church folks. Okay? Church folks ain't worth trying to fool. Amen. I'm being for real, y'all. We put too much emphasis on that. What are church folks going to say about me? What are, the, what are they going to say about me? Amen. Too much emphasis. Do they help you pay your bills? I don't think so. Yeah. Amen? Are they helping you raise your kids? Or they on the job when you, we got, when you got to deal with that crazy boss. Yeah. Some people say they'll pray for you, but are they really praying? All right. But, but my, my, my point is, stop putting so much value on other people's opinion. Amen. Give your life to Christ. Yes. Amen. Run your race. This is your journey. Maybe you want to reconnect with Jesus Christ. Maybe you already have your salvation. Amen. But you done drifted. You done drifted away. Glory. Will there be one? Will there be one? Maybe you want to, maybe you want prayer. Or you want to intercede. Amen. Will there be one? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.